A new study from the University of Calgary compares ultrasound reports of 120 MS patients and 60 others. It finds there's no link between blocked neck veins or CCSVI and MS, debunking a highly publicized 2009 report. There have been other studies that have looked at this as well and, and not, simply not been able to replicate the findings um, that came from uh, Dr. Zamboni in Italy. Dr. Paolo Zamboni's research led to liberation therapy, which would open these blocked neck veins. Since then, hundreds of patients, including some from Saskatchewan, have traveled to have the treatment done. The best way I can describe it is before it was dark and now it's, now it's light. I have hope with this awful disease. I've been feeling so good that we had another baby last year. He was born happy and healthy and I never would have been able to go through that again with another child if I, if I wasn't feeling this good. A few years ago, the Ministry of Health had committed $2.2 million to send Saskatchewan patients to Albany, New York for liberation therapy. Those trials were cancelled last year. The ministry recently announced it will put together a panel of people to decide what to do with the money. Individuals with research expertise, um, likely patients, families, caregivers, but some more detail will be forthcoming on that panel in the coming weeks. Kim Smith, Global News.